Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Working Mom Days. So excited. Today I'm shooting at Berry House. I love the scenery. I love it here. It's home for me. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoy this week's video. And this week I'm really chatting about the role of a mother. If you are here for the first time, pause this video, subscribe. And of course, if you are a subscriber here and you are coming here often, thank you so much for sticking by and thank you so much for the support. I am just sharing with you a conscious parenting perspective. Really going to be focusing on the three stages, pregnancy, when your child is an infant and when your child is a toddler. So before I get on to the three stages, I just want to share this, that conscious parenting really is about helping your parent from a place of wholeness. It's not parenting from a place of trauma. A lot of us like to say, if my parents did that to me and I turned out fine, surely it's not gonna harm my child. Or we like to say, I will never be like my dad. I will never be like my mom. You know, those are the issues that conscious parenting actually tries to address to say reconcile with your past accept your past so that when you are a parent you can parent from a place of wholeness and not from a place of grudges negativity trauma and past hurt all right and now that we got that out of the way i will then chat about the three stages and i'll start with pregnancy now we have heard people saying don't stress, don't be too emotional, it's going to affect the baby. And they are right, because when you are pregnant, there is no separation. You and the baby are one. So then what do you do? Because it's so frustrating to hear people say, don't be frustrated. When you are just a ball of hormones, you know, you are a walking trigger when you're pregnant. So then what do you do? And conscious parenting really tells us that this is a time that you can start cultivating mindful living. So what does this mean? It means savoring each moment, understanding that nine months will fly by very fast. So don't sweat on the small stuff. Try and you know focus on this present moment. Remove yourself if um, a situation um, requires big emotions. Learn to communicate your feelings. To be open to being vulnerable and understand that it's going to be a journey. Some days are gonna be great, some days are gonna be difficult, and on those difficult days, you have to be kind to yourself. And also, try and reserve time for silence, for quietness. Don't spend too much of your time, don't spend too much of your time you know, around people, like in a noisy area, try and make sure that you have time where you are quiet, either reading a book, listening to calming music, introducing quiet time in your schedule allows you to really align your thoughts it really allows you to be mindful and it allows you to be calm so prioritize quiet time and in the second stage when your child is an infant now this is a stage where you have established that you know we are separate there's the child i am the mom but for the child it's still different in fact the child still remembers vividly his time or her time in your womb so that's why you hear people say run the shower or, pu or put some clothes in the washing machine because that sound reminds them of the time in the womb and that calms them down because for the child for the infant there is no real separation and here's the thing they are 100 percent dependent on you so your job then is not just to carry this human being anymore but it's about making sure that they are well fed they are comfortable you know, so if they mess on the diaper, no one is going to change the diaper except yourself or if you have support. So ensuring that you are present and mindful so that you can show up to your child's needs as they come and you are not saying, oh my goodness, I didn't know that you need to change your nappy. So if you are mindful, you are able to then see this and fix it or help the child so that you don't keep the child in too much um, of an uncomfortable state or you make the child stay in this miserable state so your job now as a mom is not just to carry like I said but now it's about making sure that your child is taken care of and is well fed but it also means that you have to make sure that you are eating a well-balanced diet too especially if you are breastfeeding because you are going to be literally losing all your nutrients so you need to be able to refuel yourself with good food now i know this is difficult because we when we have 
a little infant in the house you wanting to eat every single thing you can get your hands on because there's just so many things that are trying to get back into balance you are trying to regulate yourself even with your hormones and that could really make your appetite really huge so try and make sure that you're having a balanced diet and because you would have cultivated time for quietness when the baby is here you can use that quiet time to really practice self-care because when you become a mom, people often forget about you and focus on this new new being, you know? Everyone cares about this new baby. So try and use your quiet time to really refuel yourself and make your soul smile. Because when you can use that time to, you know, make yourself feel good, make yourself feel positive, you can overcome so many things, including postpartum depression. So really here your role as a mom is to take care of this person who is 100 percent dependent on you but making sure that you are also not taking care of yourself so that you can show up for this person and that you can show up for yourself because it will feel like you don't matter anymore and this child matters right and of course the last stage this is the stage where i was most and like anxious about people were just making me scared making me fearful because they talked about the terrible twos but i think this is the most exciting stage i'm not saying it's not frustrating i'm saying it's the most exciting stage because now this human being who couldn't separate themselves from you now is starting to separate themselves from you in fact they are asserting themselves into the world so this is when they can throw their tantrums they are saying no they are choosing what they want to wear they don't want to eat the stuff that you prepared for them this is the most exciting stage because when it comes to conscious parenting and a tantrum, for example, is an opportunity for you to teach your child, to guide your child, and help your child thrive. So don't go into the toddlerhood stage and with, with, with fear, with, with fear, because you are going to paralyze yourself. You are going to be reacting instead of being proactive. So approach this stage knowing very well that your child is going to be um, a more assertive. They will try and push boundaries. Accept this, embrace this, and understand that you are not there to keep smacking the child the entire time, but you are there to explain to them why certain behaviors are wrong. And helping them understand that when you are teaching them or telling them that this behavior is inappropriate, you are not necessarily saying you don't love them anymore. You still communicate with them with love, with comfort, so that they feel a sense of security. And even though you are differing and you might be saying something that they don't like, they still understand that mommy is still on my team. She is still on my side. I just have to listen to mommy. So always ensure that there is that connection your child is feeling secure so that you are able to guide them and help them when they are reacting inappropriately or when they are hurting their peers when they don't want to share when they are just being plain unreasonable you really can use the opportunity to be mindful and say okay my angel here's how we do this is how in life you need to act so everything must come from a place of love because when it comes from a place of love your child will see that and they might still push the boundaries a bit but this is when you then are firm and you are you know still with love that's when you are able to then guide them so that they understand that it's okay to be to have big emotions to be angry to be disappointed to be sad it's okay to feel all those things but what's important is the reaction what's important is the behavior it mustn't hurt others it mustn't be inappropriate so i'm saying a lot but really what i'm trying to say here in all these three stages is that conscious parenting is there to help you understand that life is about moments the present moment so you don't have to keep fretting and getting sad and beat yourself up if you didn't you know act in the correct way as a parent maybe you also threw your own tantrum maybe you also lost it a bit it's okay because that's in the past and once something is in the past it's gone you are just replaying it and that is a disservice to you use every moment this particular moment the present moment to be better to show up for your kid and if you didn't do it it's okay because that's the past moment you have this next moment to do your best and to show up for your child. 
so that's it from me this week i hope you have taken something from this i'm now going to be watering the garden seeing some animals here at fairy house and i hope you guys can enjoy your week too subscribe to this channel if you found this video to be insightful share it if you think it's going to help someone and if of course if you enjoyed it please press the thumbs up i'm so excited to build this community and that is why i need you to go i need you guys to press the subscribe button so that i can grow this community and help many moms as possible to live their best lives to juggle their work and mom life with ease because mindfulness is that tool to help them from me thank you so much and god bless